Hello, in this presentation of part 2 of smart traffic light control system, I wish to show you implementation of pedestrian crossing in this system. If you have not seen the part 1, you should first watch the part 1 first. In that presentation, I have discussed about this system in detail. Now, system is up and running. So, let me show you how it works. First, before that, these are the webcam that monitors this, uh, this uh, pedestrian crossing. And this webcam also detects traffic along this lane as well. And this lane traffic is detected by this webcam over here and this lane traffic is detected by sensor so installed here. And these things have been already discussed in the first uh, part one. Let me move uh, object to the <coughs> pedestrian crossing. So you see that uh, the green light has come up. So there are no any vehicles along the road, uh, any uh, lanes. So let me move another object to the ob another object to that. So if I if I show you the webcam view, here it is that you can see that. Uh, the objects are detected. So, if I move out one, still one is there. So, if I move that thing out, now there are no any pedestrians. So, you see the green light is blinking and uh, the red is come, has come up. Okay, let me move vehicles to each lane. And I also move some object to the <coughs> So see how the system works now. Actually, this pedestrian crossing is uh, implemented and it is being processed periodically. That means it, the system has been configured to process once in two vehicle lane processing cycles because it is considered that the pedestrian crossings are given less uh, priority. So, so it gets a less time so see that Okay, that's all about this presentation.
I hope you enjoyed. Please see the first presentation as well as the published GitHub uh, project in this regard. And thank you very much for watching.